Welcome to the Urban Survivor channel. And in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at and testing out a portable 100 watt solar panel from BioLite. And this panel is designed to charge BioLite's base charge 600 or 1500 portable power stations, but it can also be used to charge USB powered devices as well. Before we dive in, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. And if you want to learn more about this panel, there's a link down in the description below. All right, so this is the panel and it's pretty heavy weighing in at around nine and a half pounds, but they opted for a more rectangular design that's about 15 by 20 inches as opposed to the square design. And this was an interesting choice because it was made to be able to be packed into a suitcase. The back of the panels are coated with a very nice smooth gray fabric and there's a cutout carrying handle on top. On the back of the panel, there's a small compartment with the waterproof zipper and inside you'll find the HPP cable which you can use to connect the panel to your power station and USB outputs. There's nice little covers on the ports, which probably help to give them a bit of water resistance. And there's a 45 watt quick charging USB-C output and two 3.1 amp USB type A's. And next to these outputs, there's a small LED. And when it's lit, this will let you know that the panel is accepting sunlight and ready to use to charge your devices. There's two kickstands built into the back of the panel, and these are designed to help you angle the panel towards the sun. The panel itself has an ETFE lamination, and this is a very durable finish, and it's a lot better than the soft coating that you typically see on less expensive panels and this is going to make the panel a lot tougher and longer lasting compared to the other panels on the market. There's even an analog sundial which you can use to direct sun rays to your panel in an optimal angle and the foldable kickstand will help angle your panel just in the right spot and I thought this was really well thought out and it will help you guys maximize your charging experience. Now we're going to perform a charging test with the panel and the BioLite Base Charge 1500 and we're going to leave the panel charging and see how much charge we can get to the power station and keep in mind that this is a pretty hefty power station with a 1,521 watt hour capacity. We started the test with a 0% battery life at about 8.55 a.m. And I kept the test running until 2 p.m., which was just over five hours. And at the end of the test, the power station had a 15% charge. I did check in on the test roughly every hour and recorded the charging percentages as well as the charging speed. And we did have pretty good sun throughout the day and peak charging speed was around 70 watts between 11 a.m. to noon. And the performance was relatively weak in the morning up until about 10 a.m. And then it started to slow down again a little after 1 p.m. 15% was slightly lower than I was expecting, but the sun was partially obstructed throughout the day. And I do feel that if you're persistent about correcting the angles of the panels to face the sun and the skies are perfectly clear, the performance would be slightly better. For those of you looking for faster charging, you can actually combine four panels together and quadruple the charging speed. So with a setup like that, you'd probably be getting around 60 to 70% of a full charge of the base station 1500. Thanks so much for watching the video and I'd love to hear what you guys think of this panel down in the comments below.